What's up, everyone? I want to make this short video about Keith Woods. I know he's really popular these days. There's a bunch of videos I want to make, but it's hard to find a good opportunity to do it. I'm either with my girlfriend or driving. Not necessarily the best times, but anyway. Keith Woods he makes a lot of different videos, but he makes a lot of videos on certain phenomena, like the modern right, which to guys like Keith Woods has been a huge disappointment because, you know, they don't think they're not based like he is basically have like his base takes of the world. Um, so basically what he does is he looks at a phenomena by uh, that he doesn't approve of or is, what do you want to call it? Blue pilled, degenerate. Etc. Etc. So he looks at a phenomena like the modern right, the that's been whatever, more controlled by the neocons and the paleocons. Analyzes it, always comes to the same conclusion miraculously, like just going in there totally objective and putting his objective thinking cap on and trying to figure out what's going on. And he always comes to the same conclusion, which surprise, surprise, it's the Jews ruined it. So he goes into the making of the modern right, which is run by the guy at national review Buckley. And, um, he picks out these paleo conservatives like Joe Sorban uh, maybe Sam Francis. I don't know if he was there, but Rivalo Oliver. So like both of these guys hooked up with uh, World War II revisionist, like David Irving <laughs> type of world. And um, supposedly these guys were supposed to be the vanguard of the right, the paleocons, but um, really they just embarrass themselves by going off to extreme elements. And it's not really accurate to say they were kicked out because they kind of became this disgruntled wing. Like, oh, we're not being paleoconish enough or whatever. We're, we're not criticizing Israel enough. Um, we're not being race realist enough. And, and they kind of like forced the issue to the point where there was a split or they were kicked out. Or Joe Sorbonne was um, writing critical reviews of private conversations that Buckley had in another publication, which is, you know, whatever you want to call it, insubordination, etc., etc. Not a cool thing to do. Um, so he was pushed out, but you could almost see it kind of as a resignation. Um de facto anyway and Ravalo Oliver like that guy is another guy that completely went off the deep end into World War II revisionism and being obsessed with the Jews and whatever whatever but it's never these guys fault it's always like these guys just wanted to talk about the truth and then um, Jewish subversion pushed them out and like if only they hadn't done that this movement would be based and everything would be based and we wouldn't have any problems. That's like his story for, he, he has this constant theme where he analyzes an issue and this is what he says. Let's try to look, oh, the Council on Foreign Relations. Um, I don't know, that one was kind of more boring, but he basically looks at any, any phenomenon and just cherry picks the Jews and blames everything on them. It's like, and then everyone is like, oh my God, that was such a, based take on an issue when you did such research it's like it's pretty simple you just look into an issue find the jews and be like yep yep it's all on them um the deep state i don't know i'm trying to like another example of uh, he he does one with putin where he analyzes the oligarchs like the shady oligarchs that took over the Soviet Union, so to speak, after the fall of the Soviet Union. And, um, you know, they were the power behind uh, Yeltsin 
including when Putin came into power. And he kind of took power from them. And of course, he mentioned he mentions all these Jewish oligarchs and how they were bad. And um, yeah, I'm sure some of them were scummy guys, and some of them maybe wanted to push Russia in a positive direction toward uh, free market policies, toward an open society, toward a democratic system. So, I mean, I don't think they're all bad. I'm sure some of them were bad. Um, But anyway, what's my point? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, all these Putin save the oligarchs from all these bad Jewish gangster mafioso uh, business oligarch tycoon types. Um, But what he doesn't mention is Putin is basically like 20 fucking Russian oligarchs in one. He, by some accounts, some people think he might be the richest guy in the world. So he... He's like a hundred times what one oligarch is. So it's like, okay, he pushed those guys out of power, but what about him? He's the biggest, baddest, most corrupt oligarch, but nothing to say on that. I don't know. Because he's not Jewish, I don't know. Or because he's seen as kind of based because he's nationalistic. So like, if those guys are bad, what the fuck is Putin? He's the king of the oligarchs. So that was just kind of interesting, but... That's just kind of the way this guy thinks. I'm trying to find another example. Going through all his videos. Where's the Putin one? I don't know, but... That's basically a good descriptor of this guy. Who, like everyone... Not everyone, but a lot of people in the dissonant right. Um, I jerk off to this guy. Like, oh my god, he... He's so base and he's such an intellectual. It's like, he's really not though. It's the opposite of an intellectual where you find a bunch of information, you come up with the simplest um, explanation that sounds good and feels good and try to pass it off as the reality of what's going on. Um, anyway, whatever. What, what more can you say about Keith Woods? Keith Woods.